All right, good afternoon. Nice to be back again. We're going to get right started with another first 30 minutes gaming review showcase. Nope. <laughs> Hot damn it. There we go. We're going to try Bloodstained again. I'm going to really, really hope that it doesn't frig off on me like it did before. I'll just turn everything to five. This game is incredibly loud. Um, but also, I, I don't know what the hell was going on, but the game was running fine on my computer, but XSplit just had a meltdown. And then I changed some settings and I, I went into a setup wizard. <laughs> And then it tried to stream, like, in India and change my settings for that. And I... <laughs> I don't know. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start just from the beginning. I'm just going to do normal. And we're going to get 30 minutes of the gameplay in. I'm already hooked on the game. So I really just needed to get at least this out and just do it so that I don't break down and play like 10 hours of the game. The industrial revolution ushered in a new era. The so there's a lot of lore dump. No longer would spirit but but it does get to the action pretty quickly. Like it does a good job here of this. Just as the fires of the lucky eruption have plunged all of Europe into an ashen dark. Horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of always these secret cults mucking about with stuff they don't understand. Defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Mm. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. Sacrifice the shark, and in doing so, through the gates of the world open to mankind. Really taking a risk, <laughs> rolling the dice, go and the dice on the risk reward. Let me try and say that again properly. Rolling the dice on the risk reward on that one. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. But of course. So, we're getting the gist of the story. There's a bunch of dialogue that kind of happens. I'm going to be flying through dialogue just so we can get to, like, gameplay. I always just want to focus on how does the game actually play. It's a bummer when you have to sit for, like, 30 minutes before you do anything. Oh, my God. Triangle strategy, the now demo, I played, f I felt like I played for half an hour, and I didn't even play. The it was just all cinematic dialogue, and I just turned it off. <laughs> I was so disappointed. Set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water. Okay, launching toward the inevitable. Here we go. Let's cut through the water, cut through the, the bullshit. So this was about where my computer just went haywire all of a sudden. I didn't understand what was going on. But I think we're I think we're in fine form. There's our Miriam. We're just yeah. Let's get right get right to the party. So I got my high kicking, got my low scoring, got my ties, you bet. It's a quipper with cool ass knife. Good. You're prepared. I am Monsties. Let's just get I'll right right to the slicing. There we go. Gimme that! So 
So we collect spells. I think it's kind of along the lines of the system of the Castlevania advance games where it did kind of roll the dice on getting uh, getting magic and things from people. How do they get inside? I mean, it's you know, it's Symphony of the Night as well. But. Galleon Minerva, here we go. Let's play some game. Having a fun time playing the game. Oh, it's dramatic on the open sea with your friends, and everyone's been eaten by monsters. How could we let it get this far? Consumable items? I think we did. This device responds to me. Okay. Yeah. Force open. It's original magic TM. Do not steal. <laughs> Get out of here, you lousy bird person. Oh, another shard. Straight to the diaphragm. Gale crawler. I like the sound of that. Sounds evil. Uh, let's look at our shards. We have cerulean splash or gale crawler. Yeah. More juice. All right, one second. 157. Oh, I unpaused. Bad news. Quick BRB. Yeah. Back. All right, I'll try and add another two or three minutes on the clock. I can't, I can't unhear Aladdin in that melody. Over, sideways, and under on a magic carpet ride. Oh. Level up. Oh, I got culottes. Body. A country dress. But it's got a little more defense. So take me to the country dance. Let's clip, clip, clop our cleats together. There's some kind of... Some kind of room. Some kind of magic room. Ugh. Get out of here, you squid... Soulless squids. Awful, really. Oh, you're back. Wait. You see... Treasure chest. There we go. That's how you take... Take care of big, mean baddies from hell dimension. You splash them with a little water. Two or three times. Don't want to get them too wet. <laughs> Just tell them you mean business with a little ocean mist. Candles drop. A mana rose. Oh, yes. Always got to do that. Picking up my mana rose. A tunic. It's not as good as this common dress. Which, you got to admit, that's a little counterintuitive there, actually. Can I keep rolling? There we go. No, no, no. Don't even... Don't even get comfortable, mister. You're on your way out. Don't be so vain to start untying your shoes. Don't unbuckle another shoe buckle. You pompous prick. Assume you can stay here. I better read a book. <laughs> I always really love that. It's like, I'm on a daring adventure. 
fighting demons from hell dimension. Oh, a book. Hmm, let's, le let's learn a little bit about my world and magic. Let's study some symbols. And especially, like, you know, Oblivion was crazy for that. You find so much lore. Like, I just want to stab something. <laughs> or in my case, I want to sneakily arch something. Don't you think about it. Oh! Purple stained glass. Directional shard. Cast magic towards the aimed direction. Flame cannon. I will do it. Yeah! Environmental storytelling. <laughs> there was a cannon and then she she used her magic fires to ignite the cannon's passion so loudly. It shook the damn ship to pieces. Some bronze and some halite. Is that like halo, like dyed halo? Halite. Yeah. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Ain't nobody paid me for nothing. <laughs> oh! He's got quite the range on him. Jeez. Wow. Okay, so those guys... Some enemies can jump clear across the entire screen. Good to know. In case you were wondering. Yeah, what, uh, what is that thing that killed me now that we're in review here? Oh dear. I was like, that level up <laughs> better do something nice for me. Ah, cannon scraps. That's nice. Tasty. Oh, SP rounds. Not even sure what that means yet, but I bet it's good. Treasures are nice. <laughs> I'm the simple kid. They brought along to uh, sweep the deck. Hey, treasures are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let let the pirates do the pirating, okay? Okay, Billy. We'll get us another espresso <laughs> from the espresso machine. Oh, yeah. Try, try to avoid fire. A galleon map. Nice to check in on things every once in a while. Maps are great. I guess, like, maybe, you know, limitations of the hardware would have been a, a severe excuse. But, like, games that thought they could get away without having maps and stuff. They would put this complicated shit on you. Although in some cases, they would do that to you, but they would actually have given you maps that came with your Nintendo game boxes. And some people were just ignorant about that shit and threw the box away, because like, whatever, it's a Nintendo game. Action figure comes in a box, throw the box away. Nintendo game comes in a box, you throw the box away. I didn't do that, I wasn't a psychopath. I kept all my boxes neatly pristine. I put the games back in the boxes. This is me as like a four or five year old child. <laughs> like, I kept them all. Of course, I wish they were still all there. But my mom threw them out. And she didn't know. She didn't know any better. She, just, she thought the same thing. Oh, it's just, it's a box. You know. Can I not, I can't use the casting couch. How obscene. I guess there's something I gotta do first before they activate, maybe? We'll get to the bottom of this. Fiendish mystery. Fiendish mystery theater. So I've come to the realization that my son might enjoy playing with me as Kermit more than playing just with me. He's been requesting me, and then I come over, and then he gives me Kermit. He's like, can you play as Kermit? And like, you know, it's it's hard not to get offended, but then at the same time, you're against Kermit. Like, you can't... Ha I can't compete against that. 
He's so... He's so many good things, you know, like... like what am I supposed to do? To be a, become a better person? How... How do I re- It's like when the smart student makes the teacher grade on a curve. It's like, oh, well, they're doing well, so you gotta keep up with them. Yeah, but, uh, mm, no. It doesn't work that way. Bring Kermit into the mix. This reveals what a terrible person I am by reflection, because there's no way you can... Take my... Ah... Damn it. He's trying to use fire in his face. Whoa, his, his splashies are going everywhere. My splashies aren't quite going the everywhere I need them to. Oh, oh that did it. That did it. Now there's an a ominous tome. <laughs> a very ominous tome happened, so I gotta drink a potion. We're gonna find this out. We're, we need to find this out. Find out. Okay. Hello, treasure. A claymore. Right. I've got. I've been getting a bunch of new equipment. I'm gonna change from a knife to the short sword because the claymore is too slow. Can't handle it. I'm not. I need faster-paced attacks. Everything is paced just enough to make you feel urgency without it feeling slow. It's like on the exact rhythm it needs to be. To give some kind of like intensity to the whole thing. Okay. Don't you dare. Don't you start with me. Squid lips. Yeah, buddy. Too many ads? Alright, I'll help you in one second here. That's a damageable wall. Ooh, that's a fancy looking chest. A thousand dollars! And an MP max up. Oh, I feel like a schoolgirl again. Eat water. Get splashed. Oh, more secret secrets. Man, I hit the jackpot. A gun. The Musketoon. Allow me to play you a Musketoon. Harmoniously. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking. <gasps> Keep traveling, keep traveling. Try not to cry. Alright, there we go. This, this turd again. What is it? Yeah. Uh, well, we're gonna have to ask Mummy to bring some coal. Sorry that we're out of the trouble. Yeah. Well, it's okay. But I am... I'm doing a, a video right now. Okay, well I will pause and I will put wheels on the bus on for you. Wheels on the rainbow bus, of course. Okay. <laughs> These are the things that just just happen, and I you gotta roll with it. Just overall put another couple minutes on. I don't dread spending a few extra minutes on this game. It's such a pleasure to play, honestly. 
like I said, it, I was... I had to keep myself from just starting playing it. And I'm trying to stay on a bit of a schedule, like, okay, I've started this game and I've got two, three games on the go, so... That's just it. Then that's where we stay for a while and... But man, I'm just playing so many good games with first 30 minutes, I'm like... Getting shiny thing syndrome. Everything's so nice. A whip. I mean, I gotta try it. A whip weapon. Oh yeah! That's a nice... A nice callback to the Rootsvania. There's quite a lot of... Ooh. Yep, not great. There's quite a lot of uh, wait time. What's the... There we go. The step back button. I gotta be able to be quick with that. Remind, remind myself that there is a dodge button and I need to use, use it better. There we go. Eat up all those treasures, girl. Mmm, a bag of money. Nice. Oh. Just enough. It's like so slight. I can just barely make it. I'm not making that, though. Not today, friends. Not today. That looks like an evil door. I'm gonna do a little more explora dating. Okay. There we go. Casting couch. Alright. You rats. Get thee from mine sight. 500 G's. 500 G's. Okay. Let's fight ourselves a, a boss. That's... There's no way there's not a boss after that door. There we go. Feel the G's. From Jeebles. Hello, so Miriam. Sleeping beauty. Jeebles, tell me you didn't do this. How does it not? Oh, Johannes, the sins of humans. Was what I, intend to I mean, I gotta say, the uh, the voice acting is is pretty good. The they didn't phone it in. It's uh, it's melodramatic in the in the style that the games always have been. Uh, so perfect. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself. Yeah, so there's our, there's our story point. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps... That's our, that's our defining thread. Battling her own character and soul against evil. Rolling the dice. Absorbing evil to beat evil. So this thing really cleaned my clock last time, so, uh... Hopefully I can try and make things a little easier on myself. I mean, I I did beat it, but man, it was incredibly close. It was like one hit out. <laughs> yeah, spamming magic. Oh. I wasn't even in the way. I gotta get better at that dodge. Just really suck at it. Oh! Right, it's a backwards dodge. Okay. Almost went over the edge there. Can we still be friends after this? Are you going to help me move on Saturday? Oh! Don't go into her mouth, idiot. Okay, time to take a potion. Uh, there we go. Ah. Uh. Dodge being backwards is a weird thing. Like, a dodge that you don't control, it just automatically goes backwards for you. And I died. There we go. Fantastic news, Gloria. I'm dead. 
luckily they gave us a save room like right before so we will try this again we will try this again everybody trying it again again oh it sounds like someone's coming to sing happy birthday get out of here Yeah, buddy. Because I heard you singing happy birthday from across the room. Yeah, because you were singing it and it was really nice. I don't I don't know who you were singing it for, but that's okay. Alright, skippity doo. So, skippity doo da. Come, Grimmery. Come, yep. That's a an exclusive way to travel. It's a some kind of sea beast with tentacles and a bone horn sticking out of its glowing seaweed head. Yeah, it's a big scary monster. There we go. I gotta be able to get out of the way of that big giant. Oh. Oh dear. The tentacles, they're so... Well, they take up a lot of space, really. Oh. She's attacking me. So no boss indicator. Which is often a pet peeve of mine, because I never know how much longer I have to go. I mean, they'll give you tells about when there's... Oh, get up! I got... Sometimes you can really get stuck. Like, hit paralysis. Oh, damn. How troublesome. She's angry. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Keep those hits. Keep them for yourself, girl. They're not for anyone else. <gasps> there we go. Caused enough damage. And now the monster's insides are on fire. We've done God's work today. We picked up a cool new skill. Vep Vipar's tentacle. Alright, give me two more minutes. And then I will change the channel. I saw it. Just That's likes to have random YouTube channels you with like songs and cartoons playing I while he plays with his cars. We'll skip that scene. We know you will, Miriam. We have no doubts of your prowess against demon kind. And that's the intro. Boom. And th that tells you all you need to know. That much gameplay. We got a boss in. There's secrets. The rooms are extensive. It's fun. I love the exploration of these games when they're done well. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna make my way. I'm gonna kill a few monsties. I'll give it a few more minutes and try and get... ...past where I got. Because I spent a bit of time kind of just dicking around. Trying to get my settings back correct. Because they were definitely not correct. Whatever the hell was happening was not at all correct. So... The game is recording and streaming in the way that it it should and that it looks for me. At least I, I believe that's what's happening. So yeah, we'll skip this. We get it, we get it. You're you're the beautiful librarian. Oh, oh. And again, like 
I know people do kind of soak themselves in in the lore of a lot of this. Are we just getting? I did some looking around before, and this, this place, place seems secure. Seems so this yes. becomes our Guys, township, what? our bastion of safety. We would. I'll be. So anybody we rescue, I Let's guess, waste any will come here, come give us our various. I know you <laughs> I'll give you a side quest. Bring me fourteen demon hearts. And I'll give you a, a mid-range sword. <laughs> you know, <laughs> cute fetch, fetch quests like that. <laughs> there you go, there we go, there we go. So I have to talk to her. I missed this before because she gives me a key that lets me out of the building. I was like running in circles for a while and being like, what the fuck? Oh, you have to talk to everyone, idiot. Take your time. Hurry up. The choice is yours. Don't you be there? late. It was awful. Those, Those monsters. Dead. Most of Those them. Devil. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. There well, we go. We'll bring her some bones. Right. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Oh, yep. Here we go. Accept this quest. Cool. Fetch quest. Fetch quest. Ah, uh, here she is. Here she is. I know. It's so, what I can do for you here in the but make the materials. So we get all so, kinds of cool things to craft and everything. An Not right now, but I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the. Sub I'll do my best to inform you, but when it com comes to items, also, yes, yes. The demon oh, careful, you careful. Shard requires specific materials. You know I don't like you crawling underneath. To make your shards more useful. I don't like you crawling underneath the desk like that, buddy. Well, try it when you get the chance. I think. Also, Hello. neither one of us has been oh. eating well. If you bring me the ingredients with proper nutrition oh, and alchemy diet, meals, I have cars, <laughs> but I don't know how cars work. Oh. <laughs> cars work if cars work. Yeah. If race cars work too. You know that's a hard that's a hard point to debate. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Well, I don't know if you got me promised. <laughs> Alright, well, that is the first 30 minutes there. We, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, damn yeah, it. Yeah. Drop my controller. Uh, so as you can see, the game is beautiful. It's a work of art. Uh, it really leans into the shell cell shading style that was being made popular in the mid early to mid 2000s and to me. they do uh like dragon quest 8 yeah, i've mentioned me. before still one of my favorite games it's beautiful uh so there's like a weird combined style fine say race cars race cars coming through okay um so the art top notch uh the gameplay is so smooth the controls are incredibly responsive there's feedback in the way that, like, the sound, the animation, and your your inputs are all really working well in harmony. And uh, it's it's absolutely awesome. I love it. Um, so, we're going to do a quick BRB. We're going to do a quick BRB. Hello. Say, be right back. Hello. Say, I, I got to be right back. All right. Quick BRB, and we're back with another first 30 minutes. Be back. First 30 minutes. Thanks, buddy. Well, I don't know how which cars work if pillars work. Well, huh? Well, I don't know how tests work. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's go. 